Hello again, everyone, and welcome to 90s to Now. I am Jerry Strauss, and folks, I got to tell you, it's it's a very unique opportunity when uh, it comes along for us here at 90s to Now to talk about a show that not only takes place in the 90s, but also is sort of a revival, a sequel series, if you will, of a show that was popular in the 90s. We are checking all the boxes this week, and we've got there's nobody better to do it with than our guest. She is one of the new faces uh, in the lives of the Foremans uh, that you'll be seeing on that 90s show on Netflix. Andrea Anders, hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. From Wisconsin, from the 90s. <laughs> You are born for this. I mean, I this, to... like this show right here. I, I know. When I got this audition, I was like, oh, come on. Just give it to me. <laughs> Don't make me try. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being a part of the show. I, I want to ask you right off the bat because this has to be such a uh, an interesting space for anybody who is uh, a part of a cast of a show where it's a new show. There's already a history, though. There's already characters that are already so beloved, and there's fans who are so protective of those characters. Um, and to be very honest, it brings to mind something you've been through before in your career, going back to your days on Joey and, you know, being a friend spinoff and people really looking at that show with, with critical eyes. Is that something that kind of adds a unique pressure as you await the world? Uh, embracing that 90s show it's funny you ask this because i was just having i just did an interview recently about that experience and and i as i said this in the interview i came to know it myself was that i'm always so happy to have a job that the pressure of the like doing well doesn't tend to bother me so much which is good because a lot of the things I've done don't do well <laughs> so but I don't I don't think about that very much truly I, I really do think about how incredibly shockingly fortunate it is that I'm a grown adult putting on a costume and playing pretend is like wait what this is not like I can't believe this is happening so I just always kind of stay in that space and then hope for the best <laughs> That's a, that's a great mindset to be in. That's that that keeps you healthy, keeps you young. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. I have to remind myself with the other things in life, but it's kind of you know, it's all you got is right now. So it's like, you yeah, know, might as well enjoy it. But it's it, it really is cool because again, there's this built-in fan base for this show, and you know, I've seen the show. I I as a as a fan of that 70s show, I know everyone's just going to love this thing when it drops. So no worries there. But for you to kind of walk into that world at the time of, of creating this show now, it's these familiar sets. It's this familiar chemistry because there's new faces, but there's also, you know, the veterans like like Kurt Wood Smith, like Deborah Joe Rupp, who you interact with a lot on the show. And, you know, they've got their thing. They've got their chemistry. What's it like walking into that atmosphere and trying to kind of, I, I guess, just jump in there and, and fit in, so to speak? Is it is right. it easy? Is it... Well, I think for me personally, and for those two specifically, Deborah Jo Rupp and Kurtwood Smith, you know, there there is just there's such an intense respect for their ability, particularly in that medium. I mean, they're incredible actors, but that medium is very specific medium, and you've got to know how to do it. And if you do, you do, and if you don't, you don't. And they do in spades. And so, the excitement is that you 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 can hear them doing it while you're while you when you're reading it you can hear them doing it and then you get there and then you just see them pull out their pro moves i mean deborah joe did this thing one day it was absolutely incredible it was a great joke it was a new joke greg mettler had come in and given it to her i was laughing hysterically at the joke itself and then deborah did the she did the line and then she goes wait stop and she kind of like closed her eyes and she went like this she went and then she came at it again with a completely different take that was hilarious. And I was just, and I was just sitting there thinking, oh my God, how lucky am I? I get to sit here right up front row seat. She's, she's delivering it to me. I get yeah. to be the first person to <laughs> be hit with her in, in brilliance. And Kurt was the same way. They're just incredible, both of them. 
That's really awesome. And hey, let's not sell you short either because, you know, you've done so many great things in so many different types of content. I mean, we just came off of seeing you in a in a holiday musical alongside Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds in Spirited. And now you're back on a sitcom soundstage where we've seen you throughout your career. Is this kind of like a like a comfort zone, like a home for you to be back in this medium? Yeah, I mean, honestly, the multicam sitcom is the greatest thing that's ever happened to anybody. So I, I, the fact that I've had the opportunity to do it at all, much less a lot, much less again, I, I, I can't believe it, honestly. I just can't even believe it. When I got this opportunity, I was just like, oh, man. I mean, I'm, I, I, hope, I hope that the, the medium stays alive just for me. <laughs> just me for too. my enjoyment of being <laughs> me too for for all of us for yeah, I speak for everyone all. watching <laughs> well look i mean your show is all about the 90s this show is all about the 90s is it fun for you to step back into that world to step into a setting and kind of put yourself in that place whether it's you know professionally or just you know going back into your own mind for your you know, your own experiences during that era. Is it cool to kind of have that as your backdrop, as your setting? Yeah. I mean, it's very strange because, you know, you don't, I don't think you spend very much time thinking about how much time you've spent on this earth uh. but when you up on set and there's, you know, a boom box <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Oh my God, <laughs> it's a, it's, it, you're reminded of, how much time has passed. And I, you know, and also too, you remember the wonder years and you remember that 70s show. And when those shows were on, they did seem like a, another time, you Forever know, ever ago, might as well be downtown Abbey. You know, it's like, <laughs> we're so far away. I would never have any concept of what this is like. And then all of a sudden there you are going, Oh, I was in college. <laughs> I remember it well, and it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, slight bummer, slight bummer. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be dead soon. <laughs> Good lord! All right, let's finish this off by picking things up a little bit. Let's do a little 180 um, temperamentally there. Uh, I don't want to give too much away because we're going to drop this right before the series uh, is released. Um, so. No spoilers here, but I, I think it's safe for us to say that you get to play the the uh, the role of Sherry Runk. She's uh, the the foreman's neighbor now here in the nineties. Um, you get to be a mom on this show, but you also get to have a lot of spotlight on your own kind of messed up personal life. It involves an opportunity for you to uh, <laughs> to have a lot of fun to play with uh, one of our favorite characters from the original show from that 70s show right. it looks like you're having maybe some of the most fun on this show this role is just awesome for you is this really kind of like a as far as coming back to that sitcom world kind of a, a best of all worlds dream come true for you yes 100 percent. It, it, it's the hardest auditions I ever get are the ones that are so awesome. And this one, I was like, oh, shoot, I hate this. I hate this feeling. I want this so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I just, to release my original accent into the world, <laughs> to just be me and to get to, just to get to work with these actors and and these writers and the people that created this role. And just, it, it's, it's an incredible honor and an incredible experience, truly. Yeah, it's a, it's an absolute dream. Very, very, very cool. I know that, you know, as we said, people are going to eat this thing up. It, it, it's coming out on on a Thursday. By by the end of the weekend, you know, it's gonna. There's already going to be the demand for when is season two coming. So uh, you know, good luck to you, everyone involved in the show, as we await, uh, you know, hopefully many, many more seasons of that '90s show and. Thank you for taking the time. It's been it's been great to chat with you. Yeah, it was really fun. Thanks for having me. It was nice thank to meet you. You too. And thank you guys for joining us this time out on 90s to now. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.